Look, let me deal with the elephant in the room. Yeah. I think our bosses owe you an apology for putting you in this situation. Uh, we weren't asked our opinion of the hiring, but if we were, we would have strongly objected to it for several re reasons. In what has to be the first time that I can recall, NBC News hosts are on air calling out the hiring of one of their own. Ronna McDaniel, the former Republican National Committee chair who was just hired by NBC News, is uh, creating some waves with especially MSNBC hosts that have directly called out their bosses over this hiring. So I'm going to get to what is going on here, including a few of those clips and clips from Ronna McDaniel's interview over the weekend with NBC News, which was scheduled before she was hired. And then she was hired and interviewed on NBC as a paid contributor. Uh, just a very, like the, the level of unethical journalism going on is off the charts here. And this is in addition to the usual uh, unethical uh, maneuvers being made by many of these same people. But so there's a lot of, there's an obvious reason why there's a lot of hoopla over this hiring compared to some other hirings from either party. And that's because Ronna McDaniel has denied the election for many years. So it wasn't until a year later that she first acknowledged this in November 2021. Head of RNC says Biden won the 2020 election. That was a year after he won. This is the first time she ever acknowledged it. And even then it was acknowledged in sort of a, a caveat because she goes on two years later. This is two years later. This is just last summer going on to still not exactly acknowledge a clean election victory saying as the chair of the Republican Party that you still have questions as to whether or not Joe Biden was no, the I, duly elected president. Joe Biden's the president. No, I didn't ask you whether he's the president. No, I don't think that I think Do you there think were lots he won, of problems. He won the election. I think there were lots of problems with 2020. Do you think he ultimately won the he won the election, Pardon? but ultimately he won the election, but there were lots of problems with the 2020 election. A hundred percent. And that's fair. But, but I don't think he won it fair. I don't. I, I'm not going to say that. This is the person that NBC thinks they need to hire for some reason. Now, I'm going to get to what is, to me, the, maybe the most interesting clip I'll, I'll get to in a bit is when Chuck Todd sort of lays bare the reality of hirings within this industry. But I do want to give some credit here. I'm not sure if it's to NBC's producers or Christian Welker, the host here. But they did play that clip that I just showed you during this interview with Ronna McDaniel this weekend. Again, this is after she's been hired as a contributor, showcasing her insanity. So the, they are willing to criticize her publicly on air as she is a <laughs> hired individual by the company. But in addition to that, they also share this. Uh, so Ronna McDaniel, as the head of the RNC, helped Trump com the Trump campaign assemble fake electors in Michigan, hosted Trump campaign news conference alleging widespread election fraud, and called the election rigged repeatedly. This exceeds the level of lying that people in media are used to and is acceptable for them when it comes to hiring. So for example, Jen Psaki right now has a show on MSNBC. Jen Psaki was the press secretary for Joe Biden for a couple of years. I, uh, at one point compared her to Sarah Huckabee Sanders in one of her many lies or, you know, lie or polishing a piece of shit. I get, you know, <laughs> either way you want to cut it. It's similar. But another, another example, she uh, mocked the idea of free COVID tests that were available in the UK. So th this, is, this level of lying is acceptable. And look, I, I'm, not, I'm not mocking this. I, am so, I understand the differences here. This level of lying, while, while I don't think it's acceptable, while I don't think Jen Psaki should have had a show on MSNBC, this is different than lying about the election. This this raises it to another level. When you just deny democracy, I think, I agree with the people at NBC who are against this, that this is just beyond the pale. That said, I also wouldn't be hiring Jen Psaki either, or people like this who are just, were hired to lie for a living. And now you're going to put them on air. I think they also have a credibility problem. But this is where we get to, you know, some of the other examples. Oh, no, I just did this already. Um, I want to get to a, a clip from this interview and actually to NBC and Kristen Welker here, the, to their credit or the, the producers, whoever decided this, they showed that clip during that interview. <laughs> so this is again, after Ronnie McDaniel has been hired by NBC, they showed this clip during this interview this weekend. So 
you know, they're they're kind of exposing their own contributor here and maybe why you shouldn't listen to her, even though we just hired her. But just an aside, I, I actually think Ronnie McDaniel may lose her job in the next week. Like if this if this keeps up, I NBC bosses clearly made a mistake here. Maybe they're going to hope to, you know, ride this out or maybe give her a job that is not so public facing. I think they're going to do something because I don't think they can continue down this path when this is, you know, at least in the minds of those at NBC, throwing the entire credibility of NBC into question. But I do want to play uh, this clip here to give you an idea that she is still not exactly willing to admit the mistakes that she made. By the time January 6th happened, all of those court cases, more than 60 court cases, had already been litigated. Donald Trump had lost. The Supreme Court said they're not going to take up concerns. As the head of the RNC, did you not have a responsibility to say Joe Biden won? I've said that. I've at the said time, that. At the time, before January 6th, before January 6th, and you're still saying that there were concerns this morning. As saying there's here. concerns about the election doesn't mean he, doesn't, he didn't win. Ronna McDaniel obviously playing stupid in this interview. She knows that putting forth the idea that there are questions around the election, she knows what that means for a Republican voting base. Not to mention, it isn't just her raising questions. It's also the help that I showed earlier, that she utilized the resources of the Republican Party to fight the results of the election. Clearly, she did this to keep her job. And, you know, let me just get to that point now. So this is from Politico back in, in 2020. This piece written by, just to be clear, let's give credit here, Tom Jones, writing about what Politico wrote. Tim Alberta wrote, she doubted there was an, a scalable, and it, she doubted there was any voter fraud uh, in Michigan, her state. Nevertheless, McDaniel told friends and fellow Republicans that she needed to stay the course, and it was about demonstrating a willingness to fight even when the fight couldn't be won because she was anxious to keep her job. McDaniel was unable to deliver her home state for, for the president. So in lieu of that, she figured, hey, as long as I keep up the fight for Donald Trump, do whatever I have to do, pretend there's problems with the election, then I'm going to keep my job. She did this, of course, for her career. Now, McDaniel wouldn't be the first person working in politics to do something for their career. But because this was about the integrity of the election, again, this exceeds any sort of other, you know, kind of lie that we are used to from politicians or those working in politics. This raised it to another level because she actively fought to try and steal the election with Donald Trump. Now, I want to get to another clip here. This goes to sort of the mindset that not just Ronna McDaniel here, but a lot of people have in politics when they work in politics. I want to be very clear. The violence that happened on January 6th is unacceptable. It doesn't represent our country. It certainly does not represent my party. Do you disagree with Trump saying he's going to free those who've been charged? I do not think death? people who committed violent acts on January 6th should be freed. So you disagree with that? He's been saying that for months. I, Rana, why not speak out earlier? Why just speak out about that now? When you're the RNC chair, you, you kind of take one for the whole team, right? Now I get to be a little bit more myself, right? This is what I believe. This is incredible for two reasons, and I'm going to get to, again, of course, the response here from Chuck Todd and uh, Morning Joe on the hiring. But this clip is amazing for two reasons, because for one, she admits what many people in politics do, take one for the team, despite how they may actually feel. They take one for the team to both advance themselves and advance the party, the, the team that they have chosen. But it also exposes the Republican Party, because she says here, that January 6th does, certainly does not represent my party. Clearly it does, because in the next sentence, you go on to say that you took one for the team by defending January 6th. Why would you feel the need to defend it if your team did not support it? <laughs> so it certainly does represent the Republican Party. But I want to get to... The backlash now. So on Friday, it was announced that NBC had hired Ronna McDaniel. And uh, it was very quickly rebuked. So apparently within NBC, there was a lot of craziness behind the scenes. A lot of people angry about this hiring. And this led to really the first time 
that somebody on air spoke up against it. This is Chuck Todd on Sunday discussing the interview that Kristen Welker had with Ronna McDaniel. Yeah. I think our bosses owe you an apology for putting you in this situation because I don't know what to believe. She is now a paid contributor by NBC News. Well, I have no idea whether any answer she gave to you was because she didn't want to mess up her contract. Mm. Um, she wants us to believe that she was speaking for the RNC when the RNC was paying for her. So she has, she has credibility issues that she still has to deal with. Yeah. Is she speaking for herself or is she speaking on behalf of who's paying her? And when we make deals like this, and I've been at this company a long time, you're doing it for access. Access to audience, Sometimes it's access to an individual, mm -hmm. um, and we can have a de journalistic ethics debate about that. And I, 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 I'm willing to have that debate. Oh, are you? I'm torn about this. Because on one hand, what Chuck Todd is saying here is, is refreshing to hear. He's calling out the, his bosses for even having that interview, uh, forcing you know, Ronnie McDaniel on, on Kristen Welker's show for even booking that. He's calling out the obvious unethical nature of hiring people for access. And he's at least willing to have a conversation about that or a debate about that. But on the other hand, he's also, he calls out something here that is just very normal within their industry. He asks the question, is she speaking for herself or on behalf of who's paying her? That's a question you could also ask of someone like Jen Psaki, who I showed you earlier. She was hired by Joe Biden to lie for him, to, to make him look good. Then she was hired by MSNBC. Is she speaking for herself or on behalf of who's paying her? This can be applied to so many people in media that to just apply it to Ronna McDaniel is dishonest. Now, you could say it's different in her case because she lied about the election. She tried to help, she helped Trump try and steal the election. You can acknowledge that, and that is a, 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 another level of lying and have a problem with the company hiring her because of that. But you can't have a problem with the company hiring her because of she may be lying or she may be saying whatever she wants to say based on who's paying her because that applies to so many people in media and politics. But this is like, before I even get to the morning Joe clip that I'm going to end on here, th this gets to the real problem with all these hirings, is so many media hires are based off of party allegiance as opposed to political ideology. If you want to have a truly neutral, for lack of a better term, uh, perspective when it comes to you know politics, media, then you should be hiring people based on their ideology, be it you know socialists, uh, communists, social democrats, capitalists, like Ba hire people based on that and experts in those fields or, or people that are, you know, thought leaders in those fields, as opposed to hiring people out of a political party. Because then you're just, again, this is, it becomes a team game. And you begin to, again, ask the question, who are, are they saying what they're saying based on who's paying them or do they actually believe it? You will never know for sure if you're hiring people straight out of political parties. You have to hire people who are thought leaders in their various political ideologies to have real conversations around these issues and have real criticisms of each party. You can't really have that when you're hiring people from each party and it's, it's going to be, oh, they're saying this, they're saying this. Then it just becomes a, a battle of PR as opposed to a battle of what is actually the right thing to do. But here is the Morning Joe response, which they're also clearly very unhappy. Uh, I know you won't be surprised to know that we've been inundated with calls this weekend, as have uh, uh, most people connected with this network, about NBC's decision to hire her. Uh, we learned about the hiring when we read about it in the press on Friday. Uh, we weren't asked our opinion of the hiring, but if we were, we would have strongly objected to it for several re reasons, uh, including, but not limited to, as lawyers might say, Ms. McDaniel's role in Donald Trump's fake elector scheme and her pressuring election officials to not certify election results while Donald Trump was on the phone. To be clear, we believe NBC News should seek out conservative Republican voices to provide balance in their election coverage, but it should be conservative Republicans, 
not a person who used her position of power to be an anti-democracy election denier. And we hope NBC will reconsider its decision. It goes without saying that she will not be a guest on Morning Joe in her capacity as a paid contributor. And that appears to be the case for all of MSNBC. So over the weekend, MSNBC President Rashida Jones told employees on Saturday night that there were no plans to have McDaniel, the former chair of the RNC, appear on MSNBC. Uh, that's according to the Wall Street Journal, following an internal backlash to the news of her hiring. Their reasoning here, Morning Joe's reasoning, a lot more clear in terms of they, she lied about the election and helped Trump to try and steal it. So we're not going to have her on. Makes perfect sense. Chuck Todd, I think, introduced some other elements that are also true, but make you question other hirings and media generally. That uh, Morning Joe, because of <laughs> the typical perspective they offer, they're not willing to go as far as Chuck Todd did. But uh, it's good to see. It's good to see whenever workers fight against their bosses, be it millionaires on television <laughs> or, you know, a union fighting for higher wages. Uh, regardless, I, I do like that they are willing to draw the line somewhere because for a long time there has not been a line anywhere, but they are drawing the line and hiring people who helped tr Trump try and steal the election. It's good to see there is a line, even if it isn't high enough.